I don't know, man. We'll see. I actually think two two k by the end of the year is decent. Because I feel like over the past couple of months, we've had like a lot of like good luck in terms of um, like streams and stuff. And also, obviously, I had quite a lot of time off in August, so I got to stream a hell of a lot more. So yeah, I I think two k is around about right. Because I think over summer I'd have probably got more followers. Just do Marvel stream instant follows. Well, yeah, but loads of people follow from that because, you know, they have to, but to do play. But it doesn't mean they'll keep watching because it's not just about having the followers. It's, it's converting the followers into people who want to watch the stream so that the average views go up so that we're getting closer to, to partner. Hey, what's that? Nod, Nod, Zerg Horde. Thank. Uh, how how are you? Do I keep saying thank you for. Whenever I struggle with the name, I assume that I'm thanking someone for a follow. We had a fun game. I was about to say, just have daily follower giveaways. You'll have tons of followers. Yeah, but that that's the thing. I, I'm trying to do a nice, like, a nice balance of, you know, bringing, bringing my subs up at the same time as bringing my followers up, at the same time as bringing my average viewers up and just getting it all to steadily trickle up rather than just be like... Because, so like, if I focused on one area in particular, I'd probably, you know, do a lot better in that area, but it would m maybe make other areas suffer a bit more. I do not want to push down there. You never, ever, ever push down that road on this map. I'm going back to base, actually. Well, what my plan is for next year is to drop my hours down at work one day a week, um, make that Mondays. Because Mondays are new drop, new drops days. And then I'm planning on like streaming like every other motherfucker does and do like 12 hour streams on Mondays. Hey, Grim. How's it going? This is this is a five K game. Okay, maybe not. Grinding MX sixty five T not feeling good. I need this to roll, it does. Thank fuck for that. I'm not really scared of anything down this road. Uh, what is there? I'm hoping a couple of them would turn around because I don't actually want to re-push into my base from this side. That was maybe a poor play. Everything's now been spotted.
That's not where I aimed. That's also not where I aimed. Oh dear. Okay, well, the biggest threat on this flank just lost 1,000 HP to a cliff. Or to gravity, I should probably say. Easy. Oh my god, it actually hit him. I could do an absolute dickhead move right now. I could wait for these guys to try and kill my two teammates, and I could potentially try for Colobanos, but it's not worth it. I think just try and win the game. Also, this guy's on a bit more HP. T71. Okay, I reckon the T71 absolutely has to be up here. Yeah. You can't get off here safely, can you? I don't think. Can you? No, you can't. That's right, he answered the question for me. I think we just wait a couple of minutes, just see if anybody... I can take one from the ball sig, which is good, no matter which gun he's got. They'll cap. What's my pen? 248. It's not great on this thing, I didn't really realise that. I'm hoping I spot him like here rather than if they come close and like here. Oh, it's in real life. I could hear like a vehicle reversing, like like a, a, a like siren of a vehicle reversing. I was like, why the fuck is there a vehicle reversing sound effect in the middle of the fucking mountains? And then yeah, there wasn't. It was outside. <laughs> At what point do I push forwards? That's the question. Fuck! Why is that so typical? Oh. I'm going for a reload. Why is that so fucking typical? I sit there for two minutes pre-aimed. Fucking play. 
So where'd he peek there? Five, four, three, two, one. Fire straight. No. There's now the ball sig as well. My trouble now is I've now one shot for the ball sig. What do I do here, chat? I now can't close up to him. I just have to hope that they come to us, don't I? Because I can't close up to him because... He shoots me from stealth, puts me to a one-shot. Because the T20's got good premium pen, so I'm probably not going to bounce it. He shoots me from stealth to put me on a one-shot. And then gives, just gives me another one while I'm coming in. I think he's going to be peaked that side. So I could really do with this guy's HP. is listening. Oh my, what? Team play is occurring. Borsig just fired. Borsig just fired from somewhere. Nice. Where was the Borsig? Where did the Borsig just fire from? There. Fuck, he rolled him. Fuck, he rolled him. She shows. He's not on enough HP that I need to use HE shells. I think he just pre aims. I don't think there's a lot I can do here. Just win. Thanks, dude. Not even 7k. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus, man.
Fuck you now. That Borsig played well. Unlock her to that guy. That T20 played incredibly well as well. And to be fair, that was really good positioning by the Borsig. The Borsig and the T20, like, I don't know if they did it on purpose or if, like, they just got lucky by it. But the positioning was really good because the Borsig, if we wanted to push the T20, the Borsig could cover it. But was far enough back that there was absolutely no danger to him. So he was sat in a really good position. Unfortunately for him, I don't know if you guys heard, but his shell hit the ground when the AMX M4 pushed round at the T20. So he missed a shell on the M4. If he'd have killed the M4 with that shell... I mean, again, it was a 50-50 roll, though. Because the M4 was on 500 HP. Oh, no, actually, no, it wasn't, because he had the big gun. Oh, okay, then. Okay, so that wasn't a 50-50. But yeah, if he'd have killed the M4 when we first came out, it would have been fucked, because I wouldn't have then been able to kill... The T20 so easily 